hi guys watch puffin what's up welcome back to my channel um thank you to returning viewers and if this is your first time here welcome to my channel on today's video we're talking about things to bring to Bangkok and things not to bring to Bangkok. Bangkok doesn't play with their rules so please watch the video from the beginning to the end in details thank you ah, my mama. first of all i'd like to say when i was about to enter Bangkok, i was online searching for things to bring things not to bring i didn't really get a lot of videos in details that's why i decided to make a video for those who are coming in september oh sorry so i actually like took a lot of clothes that i did not need on all so this video is just going to tell you guys what to actually pack and not over pack and pack contraband you get so stay tuned you said what first of all we're talking about everything clothes like general clothes from your church clothes to your class clothes to you know clothes you wear to your cafeteria and everything so first thing first is the corporate wears so we know we need to have like corporate tops and also skirts and your skirts they either very long skirts or a skirt that is definitely after your knee it has to be three inches after your knee so that's for the skirt and the tops so for the skirt i would say i would advise you to pack like five to seven skirts depends on you maybe three long skirts three short skirts it depends on you so as for me i don't really like thick skirts i go for the very soft ones and i would advise you not to buy anything lycra they're always saying lycra no lycra they'll just seize your skirt straight up so please don't pack anything lycra so secondly is your um corporate tops don't buy anything see-through you get they shouldn't be seeing through your top don't buy anything that's showing your armpits make sure your armpits are covered because bro they're gonna seize your top 10 to 15 tops and your skirt should be um five to seven it depends on you and then we're not going to the round neck tops that you're going to be wearing for classes see corporate top is different from your round neck t-shirt though it's not the same thing so round neck t-shirts will only be allowed to be worn in church yes you can only wear that one in church or in the evening after class because corporate wears from morning to 5 p.m to 5 p.m even if you don't have class you're going outside you have to dress corporately so yes round neck tops are the next thing to buy you can buy like five of those or six depends on you so you can also add um gowns to the clothes you need to pack um your gowns need to also be long and they need to be after your knee too so yeah make sure your gowns are long um corporate enough so the next clothing to pack will be your native wear basically i wear natives mostly on saturday so you can decide to wear it on friday or saturday but i mostly wear mine on saturday like the main church that's the sabbath so i pack like five to six native things in one month i can wear the four you get then the next month i can repeat the four again it doesn't really matter though so after your native then for clothing you can now pack your night wear and your stay inside clothes then that one's depending on you how many nights wear you want to pack and how many you know staying inside or staying in those clothes you want to pack so the next aspect of clothing would be your booboo which you would wear to cafeteria and just evening wear because once it's time for church by six you need to change to round neck top and skirt you can't wear booboo to church so you can pack like four to five booboo too depends on you so um for guys we already know what to pack up with with which are going to be wearing from morning to 5 p.m and then for the rest of the day you can either pack joggers or round neck tops for church you get joggers just choices long long ones you get because short stuffs are not allowed shots are not even allowed at all for guys so that's all i know for guys so same thing goes to guys you pack your native too you get you guys do not wear booboo now Abby. so um face caps are not, not allowed so guys leave your face caps at home you get i don't know if durags are allowed but for face caps i know that they're not allowed so leave your face cap in your house and then for the guys you can also pack your ninth wear i don't know if you guys really do ninth wear like that but you can also pack your night wear and that is that so the next thing for you to pack is your shoes so basically i like to wear sandals so you can wear sandals 
or you know all these cover shoes to class and you can also wear crocs to class black crocs to be precise and no accessories on the crocs please all those color color stuff that is to be on the crocs don't put it it's just black crocs to get because crocs you know it has this um stuff at the back that look as that looks as if like it's a sandal so yes you can wear that to class because it looks more like a sandal so yes you can pack up to three sandals or two sandals and one cover shoe or something so next up is your laundry what you need for your laundry is just a laundry basket your peg or some people call it pin and also a detergent and also a solid soap for washing that's all you need for laundry for your toilets you need different um, disinfectants such as you know Dettol, um, Ipo and you know all these toilet cleaning agents and also bucket and bela as far you know to bits so next up we're going to talk about um, accessories accessories are not really allowed the only thing that allowed is wristwatch so forget your earring at home say bye bye to your beads and also your waist beads say bye bye to everything and just take your wristwatch to school because if you wear all these things you're going to seize it so if you're precious to you keep them at home this is not even a man joke it can't be possible next door don't forget to pack your skincare and your makeup um that's totally up to you because you don't know what is in your skincare right so basically for me i'm going to say don't forget to pack your sunscreen it's very important an umbrella sunscreen and umbrella is important because the sun is gonna burn you so next stop we'll talk about the hair so for guys their own is just easy your hair has to be neat and you know on low cost for guys and then for girls you can only put on two colors of attachment which is brown and black and for the brown maybe this color or color 33 just use color 33 straight for brown and that's what i use so um the next thing you need to pack for your hair is your conditioner your hair care coconut oil all that for your hair so anything hair care and then um please do not put beads on your hair yes so yeah beads are not allowed on your hair this is just a no-no so don't put beads on your hair and also um all these colored hair accessories or you putting different color of rubber on you know your braids it's not allowed get just band your hair or there's this particular colored stuff that girls used to wear i'll just show you guys so you can wear that one so other little necessary things that you need is your undies anger in the toilet you really need it to so just hang your either your undies or your sponge in the toilet so and also your soap pack you need a soap pack and what else do you need a towel do not forget a towel <laughs> So we'll go to electronics first of all you need iron and then ketsu yeah please do not bring a toasting machine that is one semester suspension don't bring a toasting machine like you just go home for nothing you get okay and there's also some home appliances that you should not bring all you need is just your iron and your ketsu and maybe things to plug your phones and that's all you just need things to plug your phone iron and ketsu that is all please don't bring the very big anger for hanging clothes you know that baby um hanging stuff that is so long like you can wrap it together and you can also unfold it please don't bring it because you end up wasting your money and taking it back home don't bring it so next stop is your beddings you need um pillow pillowcase and then your bed sheets and also duvet and you can also bring cotton if you want just in case your bed is by the window side you can put it and if your bed is not open by the window side you can still put it in your room you get and you can also bring a mat for your bedside like you can bring a mat for your bedside um that is that for bedding so the rest of the little necessary things you need to bring is like napkin or a cloth for cleaning like your table yes and then you need like a plate that has a cover so all your place you have cover you can bring two of that and then you need a cup for maybe tea or anything so and then you need like a bag a mini bag when you take food from the cafeteria to your room see they're going to give you a bag when you come to school here for that but just buy a small bag because their beans oil is always staining my bag so i end up buying a bag so just buy a small bag and buy two self and keep just in case you do not see bags to go to use to go to cafeteria you can just use it when it comes to provision yeah i would say that one is on you you don't know what you want to pack 
but they don't allow anything in glass so if you're going to bring something like nutella or nusa i don't know how you want to carry it and enter maybe you should just put it inside another container because anything in glass like the bama in glass is not going to enter so just so you know and for your hanger if you're going to bring hanger it cannot be iron if you're going to bring plates or spoon everything has to be plastic nothing can be iron okay the only iron that you're using to enter is your actual iron get but you see fork um spoon plate cup nothing can be iron everything has to be plastic even your hanger has to be plastic if not your parents will take it back home for you so as for snacks you're not allowed to bring yeah i already said that you're not allowed to bring anything inside glass you get so don't bring anything inside a glass container and then um coke is not allowed pepsi is not allowed any drink in the dark form is not allowed but um malt is allowed i'm sure i already said face caps are not allowed yeah because there are cameras everywhere and they want to see your face so face caps are not allowed um don't forget to bring your tote bag because you're going to take it to class and as for the guys i don't need these yeah school bag or laptop bags to class and also notebooks you can bring notebook um under level students you guys are going to start with eight courses so you can bring eight higher education depends on you your pen and all so that's it please leave anything sharp objects in your house anything like knife and scissors will not be allowed to enter so knife or scissors leave it at home so refrigerator is allowed which simply means you can bring your stew from your house and stock it in your fridge even if it contains meat fish and everything i think your parents just need to sign for it you get and you can suck it in your fridge so um the last but not the least is your documents you just been secondary school what do i mean by your documents your documents are your work results your jam results and your birth certificate and also a passport photo i'm sure when you get your admission letter they are going to ask you to bring four copies of each but i'm advising you to bring at least when it comes to jump work and um birth certificate photocopy you're going to bring like 15 15 of each and then your passport photo you can take like 20 passport photos so i advise you to do all this in your house because when you come to Bangkok, you pay double the amount to photocopy double the amount to take passport pictures and <laughs> well anyways that's that see and you can take everything else on serious but you see documents in Bangkok everything you do has to be documented everything you do you fill a form or something so please photocopy up to 15 to 20 passport photos 20 to 25 whatever to save just take plenty because you're going to be needing them i'm telling you this so i think i've said a lot um the truth is you cannot know everything outside the school or with a youtube video or a tiktok video so basically i would really appreciate it if um Babcock students can just let me know if things i've not mentioned in the comment section it can be helpful to me and also my viewers so please make use of the comment section and don't forget to like comment and share and then click the bell beside the subscription button when you subscribe so as to be the very first person to see my video when i drop one anyways thanks for watching and see you in my next video Bye!